Yo, what is really good, my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video, we're going to be talking about some clan changes and avatar changes by Mod Shawnee. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Alright guys, so first up, we haven't seen much about this, the clan avatar changes specifically. In a while, last we heard about this was around January, where we got a little bit of a preview from Mod Shawnee of what the update could be, but he has been chipping away at it bit by bit during his tap time. Plus, the work that he's been doing during this year's game jam, so we have a bit of progress that he has to show us regarding the update. So let's get into it. First up, we have clan events. So you can see in his chat box at the bottom left, there is some new colorful text there. This will show off events that your clan is currently hosting. Includes all the details you'll need to know for that event, and it's color coded based on importance, etc. Now this feature has already existed in the game currently prior to this, so it already has or already is available now, but it is hidden away under the clan notice board, and you had to opt in to have it shown, so many people were never aware that it even exists. So aside from changing the color and making it based on importance of whatever there is in the event to make it stand out more, Shani has also made it the default setting to be opted in for this. Now if you're not interested in it, then you will have to simply toggle it off through the notice board. Which is nice, good way for clans or clan leaders to broadcast that to their clan without having to use external means or have to repetitively say it to members in the clan chat just to keep them aware of upcoming events. They'll just be able to use this very briefly. Like I said, it already exists, but many people don't even know about it and won't know about it honestly until this goes live and it's like opted in automatically. And like I said, if you really don't care for it, you can simply turn it off. Anyways, we're going to shift gears over to the clan citadel itself and have a closer look at exactly what Mod Shawnee has done in that area of clans. Now, moving over to the avatar habitat here, you're going to immediately notice that there are many more avatars in the habitat itself. Now, there's obviously a clear reason for that, and I'm sure you could pretty much guess at this point, but... There are no longer just three avatars, and entire clans will no longer have to share among those three avatars. Everyone will have access to their own, which means members of a clan are no longer bound to certain worlds if they want those avatar bonuses, nor do they have to stand next to a clan member with an avatar out to get those increased bonuses, which is a great change. So let's talk about how that's even going to work in the first place. So the way it'll work. You're going to walk up to the avatar control stone that you see here in the video. Right click it so you can attune to it. Then you'll be able to choose one of two boosts. There is a bonus resources to the citadel skilling plots or the standard XP bonus for everything else in the game world. You choose which one you want and really it's that easy. You now have that bonus for a week. You can come back to the control stone at any time and switch to the other bonus if you want with no problems. Now for the XP boost, it is a flat 3% XP boost as if you were in the same world as the avatar in the live game. If you want to bump that up, you're going to need to increase your clan fealty, which if you don't know, is earned by hitting the certain resource caps for your citadel each week. So you'll have to participate and help out your clan if you want that full 6%. So it's a little more active if you want that bonus. Fret not though because that does lead us into our next change. Now currently at a clan citadel, it is a very long and tedious process to cap at your citadel gathering the resources for your clan. Which deters many players from even doing it in the first place. So Shawnee has made it much less drawn out of a task to complete. First off, the avatar bonus that helps you gather resources has been increased to a bonus 50% resources, which is up from the current 10%. And that in and of itself is a massive increase, which as you would expect would allow you to cap much faster than in the current live game. Not only that, Shawnee has given some of the plots a resource upgrade. For example, at the woodcutting skill plot, 
You can see that next to your XP drops in this video, the amount of resources that you're also getting, which is really a nice indicator overall. But Shawnee has bumped that up significantly. Previously, you'd get maybe two to three resources per chop. Now you'll be getting 12 or more. Now keep in mind that is without the avatar bonus. So it would be even higher than that if you have the avatar bonus out. Shawnee has also made these skilling plots more AFK. Using the woodcutting skill plot as an example again, currently the tree lasts anywhere from three to eight cuts and then the resource is depleted and you have to go move into a different spot and keep cutting because it would have collapsed. He has bumped that up from four to nine cuts. So from three to eight to four to nine, which isn't as significant a change as the previous changes, but it is still nice nonetheless. It will make some of those a lot less click intensive in the long run. Now, all of that being done, Shawnee says that capping currently takes anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours. That's the current live game, the way it works now. Whereas after all these changes, you're looking at about 30 to 40 minutes to cap at your Citadel, which is a massive, massive time saver. And I think it will get a lot more people doing their weekly cap, seeing as, I mean, you could stretch that 30 minutes or 40 minutes out to an entire week. You could just do 10 minutes a day for four days or three or four days, whatever the case may be. And that's a much less workload than previous. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be happy to hear about that. That also ties us back into the Avatar XP buff. Now, after capping for three weeks in a row, you'll get a filthy level three for helping out your clan. This is nothing new. This currently already exists in the game and you can preemptively get to filthy three right now, assuming you don't have it already. But yeah, you can get it right now ahead of time to be ready for this for launch. Obviously, it's going to be a much more tedious process because none of these updates are out yet. So do remember that. But you can prepare for it. This filthy mechanic is nothing new. But anyways, once you reach filthy level three, the avatar boost will be 6% instead of the standard three. That's basically how it is now if you're standing next to the avatar in the live game. So going forward, that's going to be how you'll achieve the 6% boost. You need to remain Clan Fealty 3. But like I said, with these changes that Mod Shani has done to capping at the Citadel, should not be much of a problem at all. So I'm glad to hear that. But let me know how you personally feel about that change. Is it enough to get you to go to your Clan Citadel and start capping if you're somebody who has never done it before or have been against it in the past? Especially with that added incentive of giving your avatar boost up to 6% from the previous three. Let me know in the comments below. Finally, if you're going to want to enjoy these benefits in the first place, you're going to need to know how to access the avatar, obviously. So the avatar has been moved. You can now find it in the pet interface. It is under the follower pet section. So you just go over there and you'll be able to summon it from there. And when you summon it, it will obviously have the boost that you have attuned to it at the avatar control stone in your citadel, which I've already shown you at the very beginning of the video how to do. So it should be a very simple process, should not have any problems with that whatsoever. Now, it'll act as pretty much identical to any other pet. It doesn't have its own special case like it does currently in the game, which is nice. It means you'll be able to take it along with you with things like agility courses and such, which is really good. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be excited about that. Let me know personally if you're hyped for this update. I really can't wait to see these changes come to the game. They're really going to benefit the community side of it all which is always nice. And that's pretty much all the information I got about what Mod Shani's done. In terms of the ETA, when we can expect this in the game, we don't know at this point, and I will follow up on it when I get more information. But according to Shani, it all really depends on how fast it can go through the QA, as seen as he's pretty much almost done on his end with these changes. So we're going to have to wait and see, but I will let you guys know as soon as I hear more about this particular topic. Because I'm sure a lot of you are going to be excited for this. You're going to want to know when it's going to come out. So don't worry on the channel. I will be keeping a close watch on what Shiny's doing. Currently, I think he just got married yesterday. So congrats to him. But I think he comes back next Friday. So he'll be picking this particular project back up in as earliest as a week's time. 
That being said, I'm going to wrap up the video there. If you have enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I'm out. Peace.